Polar trainers, who doesn't like them? Japan, that's who. You know what else Japan doesn't like? Americans. Today we are gonna talk about all the full art trainers that never made it to English because f To start off this shit video, let's talk about the 20th anniversary Team Rocket case. This was a product that released in 2017, went for about 12,000 yen or $110. Today, this product alone goes for $35,000 on eBay. Now, you may be thinking, why the fuck is this case worth a quarter of a hundred grand. I'd think about that math. This is the reason it comes with two full art trainers that are very hard to get. You have the Giovanni scheme promo card. And then of course the infamous here comes team rocket. Both of these cards, very expensive, very exclusive, only found in this product. The Giovanni scheme currently only has two listings out on eBay. One for a PSA 10 going for $12,500. And another one, get this, a black label 10 for $50,000. That's two fucking cases of the 20th anniversary Team Rocket. Ah! Then the Here Comes Team Rocket currently only has one listing on eBay in a PSA 9 for $13,000. So... We talking a lot of money. Like this is worth like your whole entire collection. If you have a collection, that's big, I guess. That's worth 13 grand basically. Or 20 grand, fuck it, 50 grand. It's probably worth a quarter of your $100,000 house if you own a house. It's, it's worth more than your apartment, your car, your wife and kids. It's not worth more than your wife and kids, but it could be. Basically this product just is so hard to get nowadays. This was a product you could get on the lottery. So they only made a certain amount for, you know, if you put in to get this product, they, that's how they usually do with lotteries. They don't really try to make more of it. They'll kind of make to demand. And then, so yeah, what a great start to this video of a card that you'll never get your hands on unless you're pretty wealthy in case. I'm too sexy for this sir. Too sexy for your Next up we have the Detective Yoshida card. Don't even know if I said that name right. Comes from the Sun and Moon Detective Pikachu set. A very weird specialty set that was based off the Detective Pikachu movie. The set released in 2019 and as of today a raw copy will go around $44 on TCG player. You might be able to find it on eBay for a little bit less, around $20, which is typically not of eBay, because usually eBay overcharges for everything. A PSA 9 will run you about 40 to 50 bucks, and a PSA 10 will run you about 90 to 100 dollars. These prices that I'm gonna be mentioning uh, here and now and throughout the video may have changed since then, including the listings, but as of today, that's what you get. The next group of trainers is gonna come out of the 2019 Sun and Moon Tag Team GX All-Stars. Now, some of these cards are actually found in other languages, including Chinese and Korean. But the first card we have is Clay, the million dollar playboy, Doug Dimadome looking motherfucker. A raw copy of this card will run you back $12. There are currently no PSA 9 listings and a PSA 10 will run you $50. Not a bad price. This card is also in other languages besides Japanese. So you can spice it up a little bit if you choose. Then we have the Erica's Hospitality. When raw goes for around $660, a PSA 9 will run you about $775 and up. And a PSA 10 will run you about $1,500 and 50 more dollars so 1550 pretty ridiculous for erica but hey it's an exclusive and also believe it or not comes in other languages usually those will be cheaper i will not really include that because i'm just going off of japanese i probably should have included that fuck me anyways then we have hapu surprise this really never came to english or anything just stayed in japan and I guess other Asian territories. But anyways, a raw copy will run you about $26. In PSA 9 will run you about 45 to 50 bucks. And a PSA 10 will run you 75 to 80 bucks. So a little under a hundred bucks, which is not too bad for this cool card. Then we have the Mina, which you actually might think, oh, we have this card, but we really don't. It's not the same as the English one. 
Uh, this card raw will run you about 75 to 80 dollars a psa 9 will go for 120 and up and a psa 10 will go from 200 and up so we're getting to a little more on the expensive side with this one but at least it's not fucking erica's hospitality which i'll say is not very hospitable that you're gonna charge 15 grand the only bad thing i will say is the mina is currently only in japanese don't know why i stress the j in that one no other languages sadly so you can only get it there but next up we have the roxy card a really dope card that i definitely want to get raw goes for about 75 dollars a psa 9 goes for around 100 to 110 and then a psa 10 will hit you at 180 dollars so you're getting close to around 200 bucks, which really isn't that bad of a price, I guess, especially if it's, you know, not coming to English. Then we have the Sightseer, which everyone flips their living shit over this nameless character. Raw goes for about $500, a PSA 9 goes for $850, and a PSA 10 runs you $1,655. This card, including a Roxy, if I didn't mention already, does come in other languages then we have the welder the male the hot sweaty muscular fucking dude uh raw goes for 15 he's fucking raw <laughs> uh weird joke uh anyways psa 9 hits you at 60 dollars. a psa 10 will hit you at 90 so we're jumping up there with this one one of the few male i guess characters that are pretty expensive i guess but you know in japan every fucking full art trainer is expensive so I, I don't know what i'm getting at with that but this also does come in other languages then you have will who is will uh raw copy will go for 20 bucks a psa 9 will go for around 45 and up and then a psa 10 will go at 60 and up so kind of on the cheaper side with that one and it does come in other languages imagine coming in other languages imagine coming next up we have the bellaba and brycon man bryson man i can't say this guy's fucking name anyways a raw copy will run you the low low price of 17 dollars a psa 9 will hit you at 45 bucks and a psa 10 surprisingly goes for around 100 and up this card is only in Japanese, no other languages to my understanding. Then you have the Misty and Lorelei card. A raw copy goes for $128. Then a PSA 9 will hit you at 190 to 200. And a PSA 10 will run you 330 and up. This one is not as expensive as two of the other ones, but definitely the higher up of the mid tier i would say then we have the og3 that i could not shut my mouth or lips or whatever my asshole on we got the blues tactics greens exploration and reds challenge the blues tactics raw goes for around a hundred dollars and in a psa 9 there's actually only one listing that goes for around 125 dollars then you have a couple more listings that go from 200 and then just fucking shoot the fuck up then you have a psa 10 that goes for around 260 dollars i have seen some private listings on like discords and other like facebook groups that are a bit cheaper especially with the greens exploration and reds challenge that we'll get to but uh as of right now they're kind of holding steady a little bit it does seem like they're starting to go down a little bit in price you have the greens exploration raw goes for 230 dollars and up a psa 9 will run you 500 to 600 dollars and then a psa 10 will go for around $900. I have seen this PSA 10 go for about $800, uh, twice actually in two different groups. So you can get it for like a hundred bucks lower for this card, I guess. Then you have the Reds Challenge. A raw copy goes for $95. A PSA 9 goes for around 130, then 160, then 200, just shooting all over the place. Unfortunately for me, I got mine at 200 bucks, so I definitely got mine at the high end, which sucks, apparently, because at the time, that was the cheapest it could be, and now it just shot the fuck down, so kind of sad. Then you got the PSA 10 that goes for around 260 and up, so honestly, I will say for these prices, if you could find a Blues Tactics and a Reds Challenge for close to 200 bucks, 
and a PSA 10. I think that's a really good buy. And then especially with the greens exploration, if you can find it 800 or lower, steal that shit, jump on it, take it. Maybe not the steal. I, I, I gotta stop saying steal. The next card I've been sucking the dick of for such a long time. We got the Alola Friends card. This card was a card that was only limited to Japan as of recently. It came in the limited collection Master Ball set. Now everything without the cards will run you $400 for this battle set, right? Everything sealed will run you $4,000 and up. Now, currently there are no raw listings of Alola Friends. Uh, a PSA 9 will run you about $3,300. I saw a PSA 9.5 listing, which I've never seen .5 listings. Those are crazy good. For $4,000. And then I saw a PSA 10 listing for five grand and up. So you have a couple listings that are pretty expensive. And then you have the Chinese variant, which comes in the first anniversary box. This box you can currently get for 300 bucks. So not a bad price to get this card, or you could just buy it raw. Raw goes for around 110 to $15. So really not a bad fucking price for this card, especially since as of recently, it's only been a Japanese promo. Thing is, because this product has been released fairly recently, these cards will probably begin to drop down in price. We still haven't really seen any PSA 10s. I think there was maybe one listing that was already going at like three, four hundred bucks. So that's kind of sad because I definitely need a PSA 10 of this. But as of right now, it's definitely a card to get, especially with just how crazy the Japanese version is and the release of all the friends and blah, blah, blah cards. The next three cards were possibly one of the hardest cards to get your grubby little hands on. You basically had to make a deal with the devil or just play Pokemon, but it's just more than that. The three cards I am talking about is the Acerola, the Guzma, and of course the Lily card. Now, basically in order to get these, you had to participate in the extra battle day event. This was a two month long tournament that you could only participate once per month. So if this tournament lasted two months, that means you got two tries to be good, I guess. And then on top of that, you had to win a shit ton. You basically couldn't lose. And then if you thought, oh, I made it. Well, you really did it because guess what? Those two tournaments were just lucky, lucky you. Now you get put in a pool with a bunch of other winners and then you have to win a lottery to make another tournament. So you did all of that. You somehow won the lottery. You didn't die. You go to the next tournament. Then you had to win again. And then once you thought, oh my God, I won. I can get it. You can't because guess what? They had very limited of these cards that were basically in a single card pack. And it came down to the point where some people had to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot after they fucking won. And if they didn't win rock, paper, scissors, shoot, they didn't get the fucking card. So imagine you had the possibility of getting this Lily card. You went through two months of fucking demolishing children. You went through another month of demolishing children and you somehow won the lottery and then they're like, yeah, we can't give this to you. You lost that rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I would end it all. At the end of all that, you would get this one card pack. And if you're lucky, you got Lily, I guess. There's also Acerola, which was a pretty nice card. And Guzma, obviously the best of the three. This all happened in 2019. And another interesting thing to note is that there was possibly about 170 each of these cards. So only 170 Lilies, 170 Guzmas, and 170 Acerolas were ever printed. Not even 200 of each card exist. Gary on the track. Very, very scary numbers there. So we're, we're gonna talk about the prices and they're gonna be pretty ridiculous. The first card we're gonna talk about is the Acerola card. Now there are currently two listings of this on eBay, a PSA 10 going for $35,000 
and then another PSA 10 going for $83,000. Currently, there's no sold listings to really go off of. So whether this card's worth 35 or 85, uh, that's your wallet crying, unless you're rich. If you're wondering how much the Chinese version goes for, a raw copy goes for around 400 bucks. A PSA 9 goes for $600 and a PSA 10 goes for around $600 to $850 to $1,200. Now, crazy enough, I was able to snag a PSA 9 for $300 and I just fucking jumped on it because it was a card that I rarely was going to get. Actually, maybe I should shut the fuck up. I think that I got her. Okay, spoiler alert. That might be in my next monthly buy. I can't, I, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. Then we have the Guzma card. There are four listings of this on eBay. You have one raw copy going for $2,000, a BGS 10 going for $5,000, and two PSA 10s going for $15,000 and $18,000. There also was a PSA 9 that sold for $2,000, so whoever got that one, you fucking luck the fuck out and it wasn't me sadly the chinese version of this card you could get raw for about 40 to 50 bucks there are currently no psa 9 listings and a psa 10 will run you about 150 dollars so not a bad price to get this in chinese the lily card there's currently only one listing and it's a cgc pristine 10 so that's pretty wild and uh, it goes for sixty thousand dollars Fuck. There are also two PSA 10s that were sold, one going for $33,000 and another going for $26,000. Now, you can also get this in Chinese. A raw copy will run you $800. A PSA 9 will run you $770, jumping up to $1,500, and then jumps up to $2,000. Ridiculous. And then a PSA 10 will run $2,000 and up. So... Unfortunately, with the Chinese version, you're really not like, I mean, compared to the Japanese version, you're saving a lot of money, but it's, you're still spending a pretty penny just to get the Chinese version. Then finally, we have the Masked Royal. Now, I will be talking about four other cards after this, so don't just leave yet, but we have the Masked Royal, which was a promo that was given out to the winners of a Shining Legends tournament in 2017. Of course, was in Japan. Now, only a hundred of these Mask Royal full arts were made, but then get this, in 2023, China actually had a tournament and gave these cards out too. But sadly, as far as China goes, only 300 were made. So as of right now, there are only 400 of the Mask Royal card, pretty rare. Now, as far as how much these cards go for, there are no listings as far as the Japanese version, but there was a listing on a website that sold the card for $64,941.71. As far as the Chinese copies, there were four listings, uh, three PSA 9s going for $6,000 to $9,000. But I will say one of the listings looks like a copy of the other. So be careful about that. And then you have a raw copy going for $18,000. So if you know anything about Full Art Trainers, the Mast Royal is considered a crown jewel of any Full Art Trainers collection. But let's not end it there. We got four more cards that I'm going to talk about that actually are in English, but you still can't get them. The first one is the Ishihara GX, another name I'm going to butcher. But it's not really a full art trainer. It's more of a Pokemon. At least that's how the card depicts it. Basically, this was a card given out to the company staff members in celebration of Ishihara, the president of the company, uh, his 60th birthday. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any listings for this card, but I read it on a website that a PSA 7 copy, a PSA 7 of this card signed by Ishihara the fuck himself goes for $247,000 and 230 other bucks. And it's just him, like, smothering his face in, like, a master ball. Like, it... 
it, it's crazy. Just imagine being given that card. And I, I don't know if he signed multiple, but like imagine he was like, yeah, one of you lucky fucks get to have me on a card with it signed by me. I, I, interesting, I guess. I, I, I don't know. But happy birthday to Ishihara. Uh, he, he, how old is he now? If he was 60 in 2017, and what are we? Three, seven. He's 67 right now. He's almost dead. So if you thought the others were expensive, this one was even more expensive. But this is not the most expensive by far, which are these three. We have the Post Malone V, the Katy Perry V, and the J Balvin, Balvin, Bilvin V. Uh, more cards that are basically kind of like full art trainers. These are more like trainer galleries, but they treat the person as a Pokemon for some reason. These were released in 2021. They were promotional images for the P25 album celebrating Pokemon's 25th anniversary. There are only one printed copy of each card given to their respected singer as a thank you for singing on the album. So, these cards are legit. They are real. There was just only one of them made given to each singer. So, you're basically never going to get your dick on this. Um, I mean, I guess you can have your dick on this video. I hope not. But uh, you're never going to get this card. These cards. Ever, 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 ever. The only way you can possibly get these cards is if they did like, I don't know, a listing for charity. But a card like this would probably be at the, uh, whatever, the, the fucking place in New York that sells million dollar cards. That's basically how much these would go to. Like basically whatever the fucking price of the ring was, which I think was a couple million, is how much these cards would probably go for, if not more, because it's fucking... Pokemon and famous people like you can't tell me the post Malone wouldn't go for like 10 mil but knowing it's post Malone he probably would never sell it so there's that so we'll never get our hands on these which kind of sucks it would have been really cool if Pokemon like released them in the albums as like promos but they never did so probably your best chance of just having these cards is to find like a fake on etsy or someone that like makes them and just buy there just to have them but uh besides that you will never get your hand on these i want to cry but there you have it that is all the full art trainers that never came to english and then two that did well four that did uh just you still could never get your hands on so thank you all for watching as i spew my guts out because as a full art trainer collector this hurts me a lot as these are cards that we might never get in English. And uh, I think it might stay that way. But who knows? Maybe one day some of these cards will come to English and we can finally get them. Probably not. But it is what it is. Goodbye, Japan.